You are not worthy to be my daughter-in-law. Get out! Don't ever come back here, Gloria. I'll send you your stuff back to your parents' house later. Anyway, get out of here. What's going on? We're no longer living together. I've had enough of living with you. But I'm Shane's wife. As long as I don't consider you as my daughter-in-law, you can't step into my house. Oh no! I'm glad I don't have to see your ugly face anymore. You've been so kind to me until now. Why are you suddenly? I was just treating you as a guest, since I don't see you as family. You know that I don't have any other home to go back to. Then go back on the street. Tell me why you're doing this. I get highs by just looking at you. What? It won't go away even after seeing a doctor. I have no choice but to kick you out. If you say that much, I have no choice. I'll agree to live separately. But divorce is a matter between husband and wife. Shane gets hives too. Really? He's kind, so he couldn't tell you thinking it would hurt you. What's so wrong with me? Your face, voice, cooking, gestures, footsteps, gaze, face. I said face twice. That's almost everything about me. You may think I'm being overprotective, but Shane can't ask you for a divorce due to his kind personality. That's why I'm asking you instead. I want to talk to him directly. Are you trying to send him to the hospital? Why? He'll get hives all over his body and collapse. I thought we were getting along fine. Your life until now has been made possible by Shane and I enduring the stress caused by you. You should be thankful that we've let you live here for two years. So I'm not allowed to come back here after work, right? That's right. I understand. I've lost heart now that you've told me all this. I could go on about how you've made us suffer, but I'll stop because I'm kind like my son. Thank you for everything you've done for me over the past two years. Please give my regards to Shane. Sure. Then goodbye. Shane has left. Thank you for your help. I'm sorry for saying all those terrible things. What are you talking about? I'm the one who prepared the script. I hope I did well. You did it perfectly. But I texted Faze twice. That's okay. I know it was just an act, but it still makes me feel bad. Please don't feel that way. Shane was watching the whole conversation while sitting next to you, right? Did he say anything? He just said, "Keep it up," and he looked so happy. Even though he beats up his wife and mother, he has no guts to even ask me for a divorce himself. Plus, he sets up his own mother to be the villain. How awful can he be? I'm embarrassed that my son became such a man. You finished raising your children a long time ago. If the 32-year-old Chang is different from what he used to be, it's all because of his surroundings, not you. No, it's because of the way I raised him. I'm sorry that he has hurt you both mentally and physically. It's not something for you to apologize for. It really saves me to hear you say that. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you at the new house. Shane will go on a business trip tomorrow, so let's move all our stuff out while he's gone. I'll stay here. What are you talking about? You are still young, so I'm sure you'll meet the right person next time. Please. 
be happy. Don't sacrifice yourself for me. It's okay. My life is not that long. I would be more than happy to be of use to you. No. You, enjoy your new life. If you stay in that house, it'll be the same thing all over again. I can't stand it even thinking you might be used as a boxing bag. But if I leave, he will search for us in a frenzy. If he finds me with you, you never know what he'll do next. We both agreed to this, didn't we? That we would fight together. But this is the best option. You shall run away from him alone. I don't want to run away alone. I'll come for you. I promise. Gloria? Please reply to me. Please tell me you're safe. I filed for divorce. Good. I'm tired from my business trip. Don't send me any unnecessary texts from now on. You're a coward to have your mother kick me out of the house. Why didn't you ask for the divorce yourself? Shut up. Or do you want to be knocked out again? All you can do is beat me or yell at me. You're like a wild beast. Shut up. Is your mother there? Why? I can't reach her. She hates you. So why would you want to talk to her? I went to her house, but she didn't answer. And I couldn't get in the house because the locks had been changed. You're a stranger now, so if you enter our house, you'll be trespassing. I found something in my luggage that I didn't recognize. I just wanted to make sure they were your mother's. It's probably nothing important anyway. Just throw it away. I can't just throw away other people's stuff like that. Could you tell her to contact me? She's sleeping. Is she sick? I don't know. Don't tell me you beat her up again. It's because that old hag said something unnecessary. I can't believe you. How could you beat up your own mother who gave birth to you? You beat her up so bad she couldn't get up. Mom's getting old. Just a light kick and she fell to the ground. You're the worst person ever. I can't believe you're taking her aside after what she said to you. You're too soft-hearted. How do you know about our conversation? She showed me. Yeah, she was mean to me. I know. I'll avenge you by having her work as my housekeeper till the day she dies. So why did you want to divorce me anyway? Because mom hates you. She hates you so much she gets hives. Is that all? Yeah. Well, okay. I'm busy, so don't contact me anymore. But I have one last gift for you. Oh, to thank me for supporting you the last two years? Yeah, something like that. Is it something expensive? It's something that'll last a lifetime. I'll accept it then. I'll call you when it's ready. Okay. I've prepared the perfect gift for you. That was fast. I assume it's nothing special. It's a very special present. A criminal record. What? If you injure someone, you're guilty of a crime of inflicting injury. Even an idiot like you can understand that, can't you? Stop talking nonsense or I'll beat you up. Shut up. You're such an idiot that you can only solve things by violence. You're so annoying. If you don't shut up, Mom's going to get hurt again because of you. Oh, yeah. I have one more gift for you. Check out your mother's room. I'm just going to see a sleeping old lady. What? A toy boxing bag. It's filled with air, 
not sand, so it's easy to carry around. Go ahead, relieve your stress. Where's mom? She's in no condition to walk. I carried her out yesterday. She's in the hospital now. Hospital? She has fractures here and there, and the pain was so bad she had to sleep on painkillers yesterday. But the police came this morning, and they're hearing her out. I had mom promise me she wouldn't tell the police no matter what. What good is such a promise? Why are you helping her? She's the one who kicked you out. Your mother and I are very close. What? I knew she was texting me those mean words at your command. No way. You asked your mother to kick me out by being an evil mother-in-law. That old hag. But she was troubled, saying that she felt bad saying mean things to me. So I wrote a script and had her memorize it, and I pretended to go along with her scheme. We planned to leave this house together. You were doing that behind my back. I was waiting all this time for you to ask me for a divorce. A man like you doesn't mind dumping others, but can't stand to be dumped. If I had asked for a divorce, I knew you'd get angry and beat me up. You should have run away then. Your disgusting pride would have never let you admit that your wife ran away from you. Then he would have tracked me down and sought revenge. Wow, you know exactly how my mind works. If I were alone, I could have escaped any time. But it took me a long time to convince your mother to come with me. Oh. Your mother blamed herself for the person you've become. She thought even if we turned you into the police, you'd eventually come back to take revenge. So, she asked me to give her one last chance to act like a parent, to talk some sense into you, and get you to realize what you've done. So that's why she has been a bit preachy lately. But to no avail, you didn't change at all. And your mother finally realized that she had to give up on you. Well, I'm not afraid of the police. How can you stay so calm? I'll just say my mother has been tripping a lot with age. You underestimate me. Do you have any proof I was hurting her? I put small hidden cameras all over the house. What? You can get small, good quality cameras for a cheap price these days. I bought five of them and set them up in most rooms, including the hallway and kitchen. Did you get the footage of me? Yes. Wait a minute. What? I apologize for what I've done. I was out of my mind. I know it was crazy of me to lash out violently to you and mom, but I couldn't help it. I've been under a lot of stress at work. Please forgive me. What's up with you all of a sudden? I apologize from the bottom of my heart. If you need money for medical treatment or alimony, I'll pay it. That's only natural. I'll demand both punishment. And money. Actually, I'm getting remarried. I know you had a lover, but we've been divorced for less than a week. I feel bad about it, but I fell in love with her. She works for the same company. You know her. Last month, I saw you two walking into a pub holding hands. How did you find out about her workplace? I was drinking a cocktail in the seat behind you. I could tell right away from the conversation that she was your coworker. I had no idea. Your eyes were all of her, I guess. They have the best fish and chips. I'll have to take your mother next time. I guess I have nothing to hide then. I have to make her happy. So please. 
Don't turn me into the police. Who's gonna make her happy? I'll be reborn to be a better man and make her happy. I shall never use violence against women. How many times have you said that to me? How many pledges have you torn up? You're strong-willed, and that irritates me. But she's not like you. I'm one hundred percent sure you'll repeat the same thing. If she does something you dislike, you're gonna use violence against that cute girl. I won't. I swear to God, I won't. No need. She says she's breaking up with you. Oh no. While your mother was talking to the police this morning, I went to your workplace. What the hell? I just showed them the video of you beating up your mother. It became a video viewing party with everyone gathering up. Hey, you're kidding, right? She's such a sweet girl, even though she's got her hands on people's husbands. She cried, saying, "This is terrible." Why are you interfering with my happiness? Did you really think you'd be able to be happy after making our lives hell? Well, do you have any idea how much we've endured? That's why I'm apologizing. Will her broken bones be attached with your apology? Then come on, I'll break your bones to show you. There's no way you, a woman, can do that. I was third place in the national kickboxing competition. I'm sure I can break a bone or two if I put all my power in my kick. I'd give up my license to put you through hell. You're that strong? Then why didn't you fight back? I'm a pro. There's no way I could show off my skills outside the ring. If I did that, I would never be able to do kickboxing again. Your brain must be empty if you didn't even know that. I don't remember you being that kind of person. Since I've rescued your mother, there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Please, don't hurt me. Your mother always said the same thing to you. Well, I'm fine since I'm used to being hit and I can guard myself. But your mother must have been scared to death. There must have been days when she was happy that her son grew up into a tough guy. She never would have thought he would use his strength to hurt women. I'm sorry. I'll apologize to mom too. I won't let you see her. I won't accept a settlement, and I will make sure your mother won't either. You're going to jail. I'm sure mom wouldn't want that. She's always had a soft spot for me. I convinced her to give up on you and cut ties with you. Damn it! I'll apologize in advance. For what? I told you that people gathered when I showed them the footage of you at your workplace, but I didn't tell you why. Why? Probably because I was playing it too loud. People must have heard your mother screaming, "Shane, stop!" It hurts. Oh my God! A man asked for a copy to show to his boss, so I gave it to him. It's over. I'm fired. This is my gift to you. Maybe it's a little too much for you to receive at once. I don't have the energy to talk back. Oh yeah, I heard your girlfriend was pregnant. Really? Of course, she's not going to have the baby, but she's furious, so she's gonna charge you the abortion fee and alimony. What the hell? She snapped at me when I told her that she should pay me alimony too. She's a brazen woman, since she's the one who cheated with you, knowing you were a married man. I still have to pay you too. Of course. You're paying twenty k for the affair, and one hundred k for the mental damages caused by your violence and verbal abuse. You must have got the numbers wrong. No, 
It's 120k in total. But I'm about to lose my job. There are plenty of jobs out there. Work yourself to death. Impossible. I knew it. Your apology meant nothing. I'm going to jail, right? How am I going to pay for it? Pay me, even if it takes you the rest of your life. I can't believe my life will end this way. Shut up. Your suffering is nothing compared to your mother's. You better brace yourself for what's to come. I want to run away. If you run away, I'll chase you to the end of the world. And when I catch you, you'd better prepare yourself to have your bones shattered. I'm turning myself in. Oh, good. Have a nice day at the police station. Thanks to solid evidence, Shane was arrested. He was sentenced to eight years in prison for his crimes. The reason for that long imprisonment was that his violence left his mother a little paralyzed in the left arm. I can't forgive him, but I can't barge into the prison to beat him up. I'll have to find a way to forget that idiot. In prison, the others found out that he had beaten up his own mother. Since the prisoners around him cherished their relationship with their family, I heard he was beaten up pretty badly. Recently, they stole his precious soap. He blurted out that he never felt clean without having the soap. Shane's prison diary has become our entertainment. I live with my mother-in-law now, and I accompany her to rehab. She tells me not to worry about her, and that if I find a partner, she will leave. Is there anyone out there who is kind enough to support both me and my mother-in-law? I hope I can find such a man.